okay so let's start by plotting a graph for our different uh, k values okay so let's name the section as find the optimal k value let's create out some new cells now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create an empty list okay first of all let's create an empty list okay in that empty list i'm going to store out all the error data so error rate is equal to an empty string empty list and then let's create a loop okay in this loop i will be having i in range let's take 1 to 40 for now okay 1 to 40 okay we are going to take range 1 to 40 and then we are just going to fit our model okay k nearest neighbor we have k Oops. k nearest classifier and we are going to set n neighbor is equal to the value of i okay so by this one after the other our uh, model will run the next thing is you need to fit so xnn dot fit we need to pass x train and then we are going to pass y train okay this fits our uh, model x train and y train and then we are going to create red of i okay so for each and every uh, uh, k value it will uh, do the prediction and store it out over here so knn dot predict we are going to pass out x test okay that works the next thing is just to append all the error values so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, append dot append all the error values so what will be the error value uh yeah so what uh, I'm going to find the mean of all the terms when they are not equal. Okay, so something like this. NP dot mean, check pred of i, okay. NP dot mean, pred of i is not equal to y of test. Okay, uh, and I guess this will give me exactly what I need. Let's check it out first of all for a very lower value. Oh, okay so let's take it out for till three okay and let's check error rate if we are getting exactly what we need yeah so our model is working just fine okay now what i'm going to do is change the range to 40 and it will take some time depending upon your data set but uh, as of me it didn't took much time okay let's check the error rate so here are the error rates okay for all the k values what i'll do right now is plot a figure so let's create an empty space so plot dot figure let's say fix size set the fix set the fix size to mm, 10 6 this is the common one which i most of the time use the next thing is let's plot plt dot plot and in the x axis it will be a range from x to 40 okay this looks good and in the y it will be error uh, yara rate okay uh, let's keep the color as red okay and let's uh, don't change anything as of now we will see later if we need to do a bit of more customization into this and set the title as error rate versus k value okay. and let's name the x label as k values Okay, and let's name the Y label as error rate. Okay, 
as a typo error okay we have an error over here that is we need to um, x and y have same dimension but have 30 and 41 okay let's look into what we are getting uh, wrong let's check len the length of error rate Okay, the L length of error rate. Okay, we need to run, rerun again. Now it should be working fine. Hmm. So here we have. If you want to customize it a bit, that's also fine. You can just change it the line to dashed line. Okay. Uh, let's change the line style. Dash. Just give me a dashed line. And also you can uh, marker you can set the marker also let me set the marker is equal to mm, this Oops. hmm hmm so here we have the marker also hmm so from here we can say that for our value x hmm, so the lowest error rate we are getting over here but we need some place where it is optimizing much well and giving the uh, quite a nice value okay so we can see somewhere between x equals to 23 most of the data points if you see x into 23 20 and this will be 20 then some place over here Okay, so we will try it out with 15 and then we will try it out with uh, some other point. Okay, 23 probably, 20, 22, 23, somewhere place. Let's try it out. Let's train our model again and check out how it is doing. So what I'm going to do is copy this, paste it out over here, do the same thing. Copy this, paste it out over here. Uh, Copy all of these, the evaluation part also. Paste it out over here. And at the end, the classification report also. So first of all, we will see for 15. So for 15, we are getting 94%. And you can just say that it is much better than uh, what we were having for uh, x equals, uh, k equals to 2, right? Uh, yeah. And neighbors is equal to 2. So for that, we are getting 91 and just changing out the K value, we are getting 94%. Let's check for 22, 22, 23, same thing we are getting. Okay, you can check out for some other values also. Hmm. So the best value will be somewhere between 15. If you take 15, this will give me a better result too. If you check out from higher result, the same thing, right? So let's take... 15 as by n neighbors and this gives me a far better picture than what we were having before same thing you can do it for the class uh, confusion matrix hmm so you see that uh, most of the times we are doing a great job there is a bit of type 1 and type 2 error but that's fine we are getting 94 percent just by changing the value of k we are getting a far better generalized model so that's how we can find the optimal value of k and that's it for the knn uh, algorithm we have gone through the complete intuition we have gone through the lab part and we have evaluated everything okay so the optimal value of k is uh, also we have looked into how to find the optimal value of k that's it for this section i hope you enjoyed each and every video for this section go through the notes if you have any doubts uh, make sure to clear it out okay and uh if you have any doubts at any particular section of this video make sure to just go through a loop of the video two or three times go through the ppt sections and go through the notes one okay that's it let's catch up in our next section